some ideas to help you keep your house actually cooler. It's getting very warm outside. In fact, around here, it was, it's was it been 90 degrees for the last couple days. Today, it's much, much cooler. It's 87. <laughs> it's burning hot, and I'll admit it. Even my morning walks have been sort of painful as it's 71 degrees as I'm walking at 5.30 in the morning, and you know it's going to go downhill from there. But I've had to come up with ways to keep my house cooler without cranking up the air conditioner, and there are quite a few, and some of them are very straightforward. Let's talk about the easy one first. Turn off your extra light. If you don't need the light on, just flip the switch and turn it on off, because we know that extra lights can cause extra heat. Let's do some of that here. There we go, the extra lights are now off. Now, you're beginning to say to yourself, oh, I don't wanna live in a cave, and I know that sort of can be a problem. Let's also talk about your windows. Now, one of the things that you can do is you can close up your curtains, blinds, and everything so that you are in a darker room. Once again, you're saying to yourself, but I don't want to live in a cave. I agree with that. Living in a cave can be horrible. But as I showed you last week, if you use LED lights, LED lights generate less heat. So LED lights would help keep you, well, cooler. And that would keep your house much cooler and you wouldn't have to crank up your air conditioning so much. Now there are other things, such as closing off rooms that do not need to be used. These are straightforward ideas. They'll help keep your house cooler. Also, you can decide to do things like your hot stuff, let's say washing your dishes, cooking, your, running your oven, that sort of thing, at night when it is cooler. If you do them at night when it's cooler, then you will not have to be generating heat inside your house. What other things can you do? Well, there are a couple of them which are straightforward. One is dress cooler. You don't have to have layers of clothing. You can go with less clothing. Don't go naked if you're going to go outside. But you can, do, you can use less clothing to keep your house cooler. You can also do things like, I don't know, this is a crazy one. You could go other places, but you're saying, well, it's burning up. Why would I want to leave my house? A couple reasons. Well, one of them is if you go shopping, I'm going to say that the place that you're shopping is air conditioned. Oh, suddenly it's all right. Then I'm also going to say that if you move all of your plants outside and you have your windows closed, your plants are in the right spots for the right amount of sun, you can then keep your house dark, which will then keep it cooler. Don't forget if you do use the whole closing the blinds and everything, try opening up the windows at night. Opening your windows, open those curtains, so that you can get the air circulating if it is cool enough. Now if it's hot at night already and you open up your windows, it's still going to be hot, no matter what you do. Don't forget if you're while you're gone, to turn your air conditioning to a reasonable temperature. If you want to keep your air conditioning at 72 degrees and you're going to be gone all day, that's a lot of wasted energy. Why not have your air conditioner with a pre-programmed thermostat so that you can turn your air up just before you get back? Now some people will say that that uses a lot of air conditioning to get your air back to a normal temperature or something which you consider is cooler. And I personally think the verdict is out on this one because I can then leave it so it's comfortable for my dog if she has to stay here and her grandmother hasn't come to pick her up. So then I can then uh, set the temperature at whatever and everything is nice when I come back. I do have a programmable thermostat so that that way I can have it the temperature I want it to be when I get back. What about you? What are your ideas for keeping cool? Now, I know some of you are going to have some really ingenious ways of keeping cool, and I'd love to hear them from you. Don't forget, if this is your first time here to subscribe, you can hit the little picture there. It'll take you to a subscription area. Also, Monday through Friday, I do a different topic. On uh, Monday, it's always for the at home. On Tuesday, it's a recipe. On Wednesday, we have tips for running your house, just like today. On Thursday, it's a cocktail. And on Friday, you wake up in the morning with a recipe for a sweet treat. Now, the cool thing is about this, 
pun intended. <laughs> that running your house does not have to be a full-time job. Turn it into a hobby and have some fun. <laughs>